Which hatch into army worms? This army worm These army worm caterpillars hide deep within the maze wall where pesticides often can't reach them. Which hatch into army worms? These army worm caterpillars hide deep within the maze wall where pesticides often can't reach them, but farmers' friends can. So if you kill the farmers' friends, even more fall army worms will survive. Armyworms feed on the leaves of many plants, especially maize. Damage to maize leaves often looks worse than it is. As the plant grows, it will recover from most of the damage. Damage to the ears is less common but can be serious. Fortunately, most armyworms die before they can do too much damage. Farmers have many friends, such as ants, wasps and ladybird beetles, who kill more than half of the armyworms in your maize field. But when farmers spray chemical pesticides, many of the farmers' friends are killed. Fall armyworm moths fly long distances and lay many eggs. In this video, we will learn how to kill fall armyworms in a natural way. But let's first hear from a trained scout in Embu County, Kenya, how to recognize fall armyworms. Armyworms are young, they are very small. But as they continue growing, they change color and that is when their body expands and you can see the inverted Y on the head and the dots forming the square. When young, you cannot see these features because they are small. The adult of the fall armyworm is a moth, which is active mainly at night. Buds, Bats and spiders feed on many different insects, including moths. From a field schools, members are trained to recognize the many beneficial insects in their fields. Rose beetles and earwigs feed on the eggs and young of the fall armyworm. Earwigs like to hide in the maize husks. You can attract earwigs by leaving maize husks or other dry leaves in the field. Many bad beetles eat the eggs and young armyworms. While many of us know the roundish adult ladybird beetles, a few people are familiar with the young stage of the ladybird beetles. 
These long, crawling, black insects are actually young ladybird beetles. When these insects are adults, they become ladybird beetles. By keeping trees, hedges, and wild flowering plants around your field, you give farmers' friends a place to live and feed. By the time your maize crop starts to grow, these good insects will move into your field to help control fall armyworms and other insect pests. Ants are particularly effective because they are present all the time and they are many of them. Ants hunt and kill fall armyworms even when the worms are hiding inside the wall. Let us listen to John Fundy, an innovative farmer from Embo County in Kenya, about how he attracts ants in his maize field. When my mother was drying maize, I saw that ants were eating the caterpillars in the maize. And whenever she places cooking fat, I see that ants like the cooking fat a lot. This is when I realized that if I put cooking fat on the maize, the ants will eat any caterpillar that comes. I apply when the maize is knee high and when it is about to flower. I smear with my finger plant by plant. But where the ants are, I don't apply because they are already there. At first, John smears the fat at the base of the stalk, but when the ears develop, he smears the fat at the base of the stalk and one meter high on the stalk. Just like people, armyworms can also get sick from diseases. In the field, you may find armyworms killed by fungus. The armyworms become rigid and turn white or light green as the fungus matures and the worms die. As farmers' friends may not kill all the fall armyworms, check your field twice per week. Use your hands to destroy any armyworms or their egg masses. Do this at least until the plants are six weeks old, as that is when they are most vulnerable. <coughs> Some farmers also use locally available plants that do not cost them anything. Mr. Aaron Jaggi shows us how to prepare a local concussion to spray half a hectare of maize. Collect a handful of wild marigold, a handful of young chaparosha shoots, and some aloe vera leaves. Also pick a handful of ripe chilies. I decided to put aloe vera because it is very strong. I also add wild marigold because its smell repels the moth. And the hot pepper adds bitterness, which gives extra strength to the mix. Chop all the plants up on a clean bag and put the plant parts in a pot with six liters of water. Boil all for about an hour and let the mixture cool down a little before sieving it. While the mixture is still nicely warm, add a small package of tobacco snuff and stir for about five minutes. Sieve the mixture several times so that there are no more particles left that could block the nozzle of the sprayer. After filling a 5 liter jar with the mix, close the jar and place it in the shade. Check it the next day 
and if the jar is bulging, it means fermentation has started. Pinch a small hole in the lid so that any gas can escape. Leave it to ferment. Now it is ready to be used as spray. But be careful, the mixture is very powerful so you have to dilute it. To one liter of the mix, add 20 liters of water. Aaron also adds half of a small sachet of washing powder. Make sure to wear long trousers, long sleeves and gloves as the spray can irritate your skin. Make your own mixes from local plants and try to see if they work. modified an old pest control method whereby farmers controlled caterpillars with ash and tobacco. He mixes two small packs of tobacco snuff in a bag of ash and then adds half a bag of sand to it. With a canister, Nefert sprinkles a small amount of the mixture in each wall of damaged plants. The mixture go deep down in the plant where these worms hide. Then the caterpillars started dying. Where I applied, the crop matured well, and where I did not apply, there was damage. looks worse than it is. Birds, spiders, roof beetles, ants, wasps and diseases kill the fall armyworm and can greatly reduce its damage. During cooking fat on maize stalks, you will attract ants which will kill any armyworms hidden in the wall. Leaf trees and hedges around your field to allow these farmers' friends to live and feed. Never spray chemical pesticides as these will kill the farmers' friends and you may end up having more armyworms than before. Check your field twice per week at least for the first six weeks and destroy any egg masses and armyworms. Infested plants with a boiled mixture of plants or apply a mix of ash, sand and tobacco snuff directly to infested walls. By making best use of farmers' friends and local plants on the farm, nature will help you control the fall armyworm and reward you with a good and healthy crop.